Hello and welcome to a video on scientific notation. Let's have a look. Scientific notation is a convenient way of writing very large or very small numbers. Scientific notation expresses values as a number between 1 and 10 combined with that being multiplied by 10 to a power of some number. I'll show you how it works. So there's an example of a scientific notation expressed value there. 3.6, sorry, 3.26 here. This section here is obviously a number between 1 and 10, 3.26. And then it's being multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. Um, so that's how we express in scientific notation. Let's have a look at a few examples here. Very large numbers uh, can be expressed in scientific notation. So this question asks us to express 24,000 in scientific notation. Here's 24,000. Now at the moment it doesn't look like there's any decimal place here, or sorry, any decimal point here in this number. But uh, what we can do is remember that the decimal point is kind of invisible at the end of whole numbers. So when it doesn't appear like a, a number has a decimal point, it's actually uh, invisible at the end of uh, numbers that don't, don't appear to have any. So uh, that's where we'll consider the decimal point to be now. And uh, so that we get a scientific note notation uh, expression here, we want a number between 1 and 10. So we want to move that decimal point so that it creates a number between 1 and 10. And the way to do that is that the decimal point in scientific notation values goes after the first non-zero digit if we imagine that we're working from left to right. So if we go from left to right, the first non-zero digit is the 2, and so that uh, between the 2 and the 4 is where the decimal point should go. So we'll have moved that uh, original decimal point, which was at the end of the number. Uh, we'll we'll want to move that. We will want to move that decimal point so that it's between the two and the four there. So we'll have to take careful note of how many uh, place values we have moved that decimal point in order to create our scientific notation. So we'll have moved that one, two, three, four place values, four jumps to the left here. So the decimal point jumped four places. It's going to be very important for us to remember. So the in the end, the uh, the number we want to express instead of 24,000 is 2.4 times 10 to the power of 4. So the fact that we jumped four places with our decimal point from the end of the number across to where we wanted it for our scientific notation, the fact that we jumped four places creates that 4 at the top of the uh, of the 10 there. So that creates our power. Small numbers work in a similar way, but at the moment uh, if we were expressing 0 0.0076 in scientific notation, it's clear where the decimal point is at the moment. Now uh, once again we want to move that decimal point so it uh, occurs just after the first non-zero digit working from left to right. So as we go across here, we don't get a non-zero a non digit until we hit the 7, and then the decimal point should go straight after that. So we, we will want to move the decimal point three places to the right this time to create our scientific notation. One, two, three jumps to the right. So our final answer here will be 7.6 times 10 to the power of now we have jumped three places with our decimal point, so that creates the three up the top, but we'll, we will want to make sure we put a minus on, on the top of it there. Because this, um, this number was a very small number to begin with, it creates a, a, a negative power to our 10 there. So large numbers create po a positive power when we move that decimal point four places and small numbers create a negative power. We'll have to remember that when we're working with scientific notation. So when we start off with a, a fairly large number, 24,000, we create a positive power. When we start off with a naught point type number, um, that creates a negative power just because of the different directions the decimal point is moving. So we'll keep that in mind for our further work here. Now we're also asked to convert scientific notation um, expressions back into normal numerals. So we've uh, done two examples, as you see, uh, whereby we did normal numbers into scientific notation. We'll, we'll need to know how to work back the other direction here.
So if we're asked to express in normal uh, digits 6.52 times 10 to the 3, we focus in on the fact that it's a positive power, so we'll be expecting a large number to um, be created by this scientific notation. And um, the decimal point, to create a larger number than 6.52, we'll move that decimal point to the right. So we'll go in a direction that uh, matches up our, our expectation of a large number as our final result here. So how many jumps to the right will we move? Well, we've already seen that the power of 10 gives us uh, gives us an indication of how many moves to make with the decimal point. So in this one, we'll move the decimal point three places to the right. Now when we have a move to the right there that doesn't seem to have a digit in it, we'll fill that up with a zero. That's just holding the place value there. So if the decimal point moves to the end there, after the zero, we'll have created a number of 6,520. So that's our conversion back into normal digits, normal numerals there from a scientific notation. So the key bit is to have a look at the in index there, the power of 3 there that the 10 is being put to. And that indicates how many jumps of the decimal point we're moving. So if, if we're expressing in normal numerals 9.8 times 10 to the minus 4. Now up here, remember, we looked uh, earlier at uh, the fact that if you've got a negative power, that uh, we're expecting a naught point type number as our final result. So we're actually going to uh, take notice of that negative power. We're going to expect a smaller number and so therefore we're moving the decimal point to the left. Now how many jumps left? We'll be focusing on this the fact that that's a minus four. We'll be moving that decimal point four jumps to the left to uh, create our normal numeral. One, two, three, four. So the decimal point itself We'll move across to here and we'll fill in lots of different spaces there with zeros just to hold their place values. So if the decimal point moves across there and we fill up all the other spots with zeros, you can see that a naught point number, a small number, is what is created and that's what we were expecting there. So in the end we get naught point naught 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 nine eight or zero point zero 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 nine eight as our final result there. So when there's a positive power we'll move the decimal point three jumps to the right in this case. Because this is a negative power, we'll move this uh, decimal point uh, from between the nine and the eight, uh, four jumps to the left, because we're expecting a, a small number to be our final result there. So remember, with scientific notation, large numbers have positive powers, and small numbers, not point type numbers, uh, end up with negative powers. So I hope that helps. A few examples to look back on there and have a look at the video a second time if you need to. Um, and all the best with your work with scientific notations. Uh, videos by Peter Blake uh, from peterblakemath.com. Thanks for listening.